Alright, so this is just a quick video on um, how to cut solar cells up. Uh, now I've seen a video on the internet where somebody used one of these diamond tip tile cutters. And yeah, you can do it, but it's quite difficult. And I think it'll take years of practice to get it exactly right. Um, I didn't have much luck with it, I have to admit. Um, this is just a cheap one from a pound store. And that may be the reason why, but I'm not going to go and buy one for about eight, nine pounds, a decent one. Uh, I'm just not going to spend the money on it. I bought these cells on an eBay auction, and they were really cheap anyway. I got about 30 or 40 of them. So. So I'm not too um, bothered whether I break them or not, uh, but I found these um, diamond coated files to work quite well. I brought these uh, quite a while back, I use these all the time, I think they were about £5, so reasonably cheap and I mean you get five of them. Uh, I found the, um, like the squared ones or the uh, triangular shaped ones be the best because uh, it's like a knife edge and cheap steel ruler don't use an expensive one because you're going to be if you cut them with this you're going to be grinding the edge of the ruler away and also you want a pretty flat base to cut them on because if you haven't you'll just find that you crack them all the time uh, this is a um, marble chopping block and I've borrowed this so that's why I'm using the bottom of it bottom of it uh, so I don't scratch it up. Um, you could use a piece of glass, which would, would be a lot better idea, but I haven't got a piece, so anyway, let's try to cut one of these. Uh, these are a couple of the um, bits that I cut up earlier. Trying to get them to the same size. just doing light strokes, I'm not pressing very hard, I'll just go over it a few more times. Just need to be careful of the edges because if you splinter the edges generally they don't if you splinter the edges generally they won't crack along the line that you've scored as well. Also when you're trying to crack it along the line, but just be gentle with it and go over it a few times. Pretty lucky, just a little bit of bit on the end there, but it doesn't matter for what I want them for. So I'm not going to worry about that. Uh, now I'm trying to cut them into smaller bits.
Also, when you put your weight on the top of the solar cell, it's important not to go over the edge of it. Because if you press over, push over the edge of it, the pressure, you'll just crack the um, solar cell. So you need to try to keep actually on top of the solar cell. Just what I've uh, found from cutting a few up. Because on top of the solar cell, you can put a reasonable amount of pressure. Whereas if you go to the edges of it, it will just uh, splinter. I did try to cut these with a, um, a diamond um, wheel on a mini drill. And I made a small bench up for it to all fit in and that, but uh, I found that uh, the edge that it leaves, sometimes it will short the solar cell out and then you need to actually sand the edges of the solar cell to get them so they're not shorted. So I, I just think this way is just a lot easier and there's a lot less dust as well. not going very easily. This one's but I think this one's right along the line. Oh, nearly. Yeah, well, that's not too bad for what I want it for. That'll work fine. So again, it's a little bit on the edge there. As I say, for what I'm going to make it, for what I'm going to use them for, it doesn't really matter. I'm not bothered. Do you just need to be careful when you cut them that you cut them? through the centre of where the tabbing area is because if not, if you cut it here there's no way to connect the tabs onto it so just bear that in mind when you're cutting them up yeah, so there some of the solar cells there that I got um, they're just 6x6 six six inches uh, there's some of the bits that I just cut up and there's a load that I cut up the other day. There's um, 40 pieces that I cut up there. Uh, hopefully you should be able to make about a 10 watt solar panel out of them. 
Okay, thanks for watching. Um, please comment um, and subscribe if you'd like to. Uh, thanks very much.